Hi guys! Uh, today I'm going to be doing my updated photo card collection video. Uh, I actually filmed this the other week and then made some, I wouldn't say major, but like some significant changes. Uh, so I thought I would just refilm this uh, to encompass how my collection looks right now and how I'm collecting right now. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I have been collecting since 2015, I believe. So that's why my collection is so large. I'm also in my late 20s with the job. So I know I've seen some kind of rude comments on other people's collection videos and I just want to like make sure I mention that at the very beginning um, just so y'all know how I afford all of these. I don't buy them all at once uh, and I do a lot of trading. So. So let's get started with my old girl group, Red Velvet. Um, essentially, I have um, 10 alt groups now, four female groups and six male groups. Uh, and so my alts I do collect differently than other groups. Um, for Red Velvet, they're one of my most extensive groups that I collect. I do collect all members. Um, and all album cards for all members, and then Joy's, uh, special things, because she is my ult of ult female bias. I hope there's not too much of a glare. The lighting's a bit strange, but I'm limited to when I can film, so. These sets, um, if you've been on my channel before, nothing new. Uh, they've been completed for a while. Let me zoom in smidgen. There we go. That's a little bit better, although the lighting is killing me. Hopefully it'll adjust itself. <laughs> so, these collections are nothing new, although I have um, rearranged how I organize the cards on the page. Sorry for the jump. Um, I have reorganized how I organize the cards on the page just because I like seen all members on the page together and I think this layout I think I'm happy with it uh, maybe not perfectly happy with it but like it is a great improvement um, so I can see everyone together sorry for that glare I'm gonna try to hold this set up so it doesn't uh, make too much of a distraction so here's where the incomplete, well I did have, no it's not back here, yes, okay. This is my, where the incomplete sets start, although these I'm only missing the Kinos. I also do collect all five members for Kinos, which for the most part is not that hard except for Irene's. Irene's are uh, crazy. Um, and then we have some more missing cards here, but for the most part, I am very close to being caught up. Um, we only have this one is actually on the way from a buy -e package, so I will have this set complete, including the Kinos. I don't have Irene Standee yet, but honestly, the non nine pocket cards aren't too much of a priority. Um, only missing one Kino here, and of course all the postcards are complete. Um, now that there has been a reprint of Finale, I hopefully will have more progress on this collection soon. I think I will be getting my the last Joy card I need um, very soon, so. I love Yeri's cards. I know they're the most similar out of everyone's cards, um, but the pink hair just looks so beautiful on her. And then the receipts. And then we're getting into subunits and solos. For right now, I do have them in debut um, order, so when they came out with their solos, which is also age order, actually. Um, but I might switch it around because Joy is my old bias and she might get her own section. 
Um, I did get her albums today and my pulls were probably the best cards in her album. They're so cute. I love this card so much. God tier photo card. And then back here are their Japanese cards. I still need to get this Wendy card. I don't know why I don't just go ahead and like buy it. <laughs> um, but that's it for album cards. Uh, this binder is a one and a half inch binder and I still have space in it now that I've moved some of my other um, red velvet goods out of it. So hooray. Hopefully we get a um, full member red velvet comeback soon. Come on SM, please. <laughs> Alright, so this binder, or the physical binder is new. This is all of my extra um, red velvet goods. And this is a 2 inch binder and it is almost too big for the 2 inch binder. So I might need a third red velvet binder soon. Um, but I made these ugly little placeholders because I need to make dividers at some point. I um, am a graduate student. I actually like am almost done with my entire grad program. So after I'm done, I will sit down and make more, uh, make new um, dividers. But that hasn't been a priority. I'm prioritizing finishing school. So, um, so these are just the four by six photos, which I keep joy in the group. Um, except for Peekaboo because it is my favorite Red Velvet era. Um, so I love these photos. And then the postcards. I, seen as I'm very close to finishing my Red Velvet photo card collection, the extra SM goods will be the next thing I focus on because I want to get as much joy uh, content that I can because I'm so biased. So this gets into official stickers. I only have um, the velvet and then Dum Dum, or the red. <laughs> and then these are other SM goods. So these are cafe um, cards, and this was her paper folder card. I don't know why I'm naming all the cards now, but um, these are her hollow cards for whatever thing. I only have the two. Hopefully I can expand this more later. Um, these are the um, collect books. Again, I don't know why I'm naming everything now, but the collection books have decided that going forward, uh, if they have any more, I will only be getting joys because I got this in the concert for all five members and that's just a little much. And I don't know what to do with the rest of the little collection books. Um, these are just random message stickers and SM... Um, joy things. I love this birthday card. Um, they did that only in 2017 and I really love how it looks and I was thinking about getting it for my other SM boy group. Um, yeah, I mean it would be just boy group biases but uh, they're running very expensive now. So, so these are just partnerships etc. So uh, the trolls, the good luck trolls, um, which, I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, but I love uh, their Trolls collab, especially because um, Joy's representative era for the merch was Peekaboo, which is one of my favorite eras of theirs, so it all worked out. And then these are Trolls pop-up cards uh, down here in her Etude house. I don't know how much this is going to expand, but it has its own section. Alright, concert goods. Um, this is roughly in order of the concert, but I kept, like, these things on one page, so there is a little overlap. Um, and then Seasons Greetings. These are official SM Seasons Greetings things. Um, and I have 2017, I think this is 2018? No, 2019, I think. I don't know. I missed I missed two years, I think. Um, this is definitely 2021. <laughs> I do know that. So this is 2020. I don't know why I missed two years, but <laughs> I did. Uh, and the postcards. All the postcards have calendars on the back, but I didn't care about seeing them. And I wanted to save as much space as I could, so I double-sided. 
and these are 2018. There we go, I only missed one year, that's what I was thinking. These are just big and I wanted to keep them in the bag. That's what it was. <laughs> I think it was 2019 that I just didn't like the concept, so I didn't buy it. Um, and then Wonders Never Cease, which is a Joy fan site. This is all the Wonders Never Cease goods for whatever I buy from them. Uh, I just throw it all back here. So it's just organized by goods and where I can <laughs> stick them, basically. I have quite a collection now. I might, this might be the one thing that I shift over um, to make more space in this binder is the fansite things. So I can get a thin binder for fansite things. I love these mini posters. They're probably my favorite thing from <clears throat> them. This one's my favorite. It's so beautiful. And this one's also a favorite. <laughs> And that's it for my second red velvet binder. Okay, so this binder is the rest of my alt girls. Um, the rest of these collections minus one binder is organized by debut date. Um, so nine muses first. I miss them so so much. These are the mixed star photo book Polaroids. Then my favorite set in my whole collection, their spring summer or summer special album. Um, oddly not my most expensive, although it was hard getting a lot of these cards, but like I managed to find a lot of them for trades and decent prices, so I'm just so happy with it. And then for the rest of their cards, I'm only missing a few. So this one, and then several Love City cards. Um, just four of them, I guess. Uh, these are some latte snack cards that they did back in the day, which I used to be able to find them easily, and then I started collecting them and I couldn't find them anymore, so don't know when that collection is going to expand. And then this is all concert goods uh, and a standee from Lost, but the rest is concert goods. EXID, I'm only missing two cards, still. <laughs> EXID is a pain in the butt to collect, um, but I'm nearing the end. I've missed them so, so much. Ugh. And then random other things, and then Oh My Girl. So I'm almost caught up with Sunky's entire collection. Um, and I am so, so proud of this collection. It's just so pretty. I love Oh My Girls cards. This collection, will it ever be complete? I keep seeing this card on um, Makari, Japan. Like, several of this card. And I, I, just, I just need those two. I'm so close. It's so close. Um, some other things. So I only need this card for non-stop. And then this is my Dun Dun Dance. Uh, but I do have a good chunk of Sunkey's cards coming from proxy site orders um, and trades and the like. And then I'm planning on collecting three uh, full member sets at some point. But I'm prioritizing completing Sunkey's before I um, do the full member sets. These are other random things that are bigger. I'm working on her Japanese collection now, which is relatively easy, so it's not a big concern of mine. And then I only am missing, I think, two of Yua's solo cards, but they are on the way from a proxy site order. And then I didn't realize, but I have all of her postcards. So back here are just some other random things in the Seasons Greetings 2021 photo card sets. And all of her Polaroid merch. Which I'm only missing two sets, but I think I have at least one that I have an order for. So that's it for my old girls. 
Okay, so this is part one of my other girls. Um, I will have to get a more substantial binder, um, but this, um, I'm doing what I can. These are the old binders I used to use, but they were too thin, and I didn't like the rings on them, but it's all I had <laughs> because Luna and um, Twice have just made my girl group binders so thick, <clears throat> but I do collect all members pre-debut um, and I have been collecting Luna since maybe around Yojin or Vivi's era so I have been collecting them for a while um, which is why I'm so lucky to have this collection I don't collect units pre-debut and for the or the unit cards from the solo albums and the only uh, subunit cards I collect are the limited ones so I don't know if this will ever be complete. <laughs> and I don't know if we'll ever get a YY by Y repack, which is very sad. This is the, I don't, um, I basically am resisting the urge to get any of the other non-album things from Luna because they have so many things out there and it's going to rack up so much and they are, as much as I love them, they're not an ult quite yet. Um, I would consider it if they were an alt group or either one of these lovely ladies was an alt bias, but they're not. Um, but I am tempted. Some of their stuff, very cute. So post debut or like after debut, whatever, um, I do collect Heejin and Jinsoul. And by th as I'm feel filming this, their first wave of teasers for their comeback has come out and oh I'm so excited I don't have this set complete though uh, they're I think 12 o'clock that was the album um, so I'm still missing some cards from that but I do have their my music taste cards that's the only like non-album card I I guess consistently good. And then these are Season's Greetings 2020. This is just all of Heejin and uh, Jensel's cards. And I used to have the all of the cards for all the members in here, but it just got to be too much, so I only kept one per member in here in order of their reveal pre-debut. And I tried to have a set that matches, kind of. So, <laughs> doesn't match exactly, but it's close. Um, and then other random things. And then these are from a Jinsoul fan site that sadly has closed down. Which is so sad because I loved them. But for some reason I got an extra of that. But yeah, that's my Luna soon to be other girl group as a whole binder. And continuing with the girl groups is the rest of the girl groups. Um, I, while I do like both female and male groups, I tend to be more tempted to collect girl groups because their cards are just the best and we're almost at capacity. No, we are at capacity. We're almost over capacity with this binder. Um, so orange caramel, I do want to start working on again, um, but it's not huge priority, these cards. I just noticed they slipped, I'll fix that later. And then AOA. I do just want to finish my Choa collection and be done. Um, I still love them and their music, but I just, uh, I don't know, I don't really have a solid bias for the current members, so. Then twice, who are also having a comeback, which I'm very excited about. I'm still very behind with Dahyun's collection, but honestly, twice are so so easy to collect um, that I'm not too worried. Um, and I do keep the CD plates in here. I have thought multiple times about taking them out, but honestly, they're just so cute. I can't bring myself to take them out, especially like eyes wide open. Oh, that CD plate is so pretty. 
Um, I keep forgetting to put the lenticular back in here. I do have it. It's just in another binder. <laughs> um, so early things, a little sparse, but we're working. We're working slowly but surely. Fancy, I'm actually almost complete with, like that's the closest I am to having a complete collection, but oh, just such a good era. Um, and then if I collect a few OT9 sets. I, if you watch any collector video, um, you've probably seen people that do collect an OT9 set or two, depending on how many cards came in the album, just because it works out really well. And they're so pretty. And so I do not have any for Eyes Wide Open. Yeah, I don't have any for Eyes Wide Open yet. <laughs> These are all pre-order cards. They're a mess. I need to organize back here. And then extra big things. Gugudan, still heartbroken about them. Um, I only have one card left until I complete my Mina collection, and I do want to get her other IOI card, um, but that's not a huge rush to get. But yes, I'm heartbroken about them. I uh, I don't trust jellyfish, period. Like, <laughs> Alright, so here's more ugly dividers um, for Idol, G-Idol. I've heard people pronounce it both ways, I'm not sure, <laughs> but I collect Wookie, and uh, I'm not too bad off, it's just their most recent album has so many cards, so oh, these always slip out. Um, and I do want to collect a full set of the tarot cards, because I, I don't know, I think they're cute. I do have a few of her cards coming in, in trades, and such so and then Everglow I finally decided my bias which is Onda but I'm being stupid and collecting top three <laughs> for Everglow although it has like I posted all my things for trade and it was I have several coming in trades um, and also I pull I've pulled a lot of my top three and I pull a lot of uh, Aisha who is easily the most popular member, so it's collecting them I don't think is going to be too much of an issue. And I decided to collect them literally the other day, so uh, that's why it looks so sparse. But and then I don't care about the stickers, so <laughs> they're just there. So luckily I do have luck pulling my biases and then these, this full set, I just wanted to keep in here because these postcards are so pretty. I love them so much. And then for their latest comeback, I actually pulled one each of my biases. So I don't really feel the need to get both giant cards for them. Um, I'm just happy with what I pulled. And then a brand new edition weekly. I am in love with them. Um, I I love them so much and I'm collecting Soen, but I'm thinking about collecting another member or two. I don't know, but definitely Soen and I do have several of her cards coming. Uh, I kept Jiyun in here because she is one of the other people I was thinking about collecting and so I just I pulled this so I, I just kept it in here for now. <laughs> And then this is all of my miscellaneous slash might start collecting groups. Um, so a lot of these are Girls' Generation solos, which I am thinking about collecting, casually collecting Girls' Generation, so they will probably get their own section at some point. Um, and then Lovelies, who I don't have the heart to part with. <laughs> I feel like at one point I'm going to start collecting them again, but like, yeah. Uh, and then from us nine, I've oh, I've adored them so much. I need to pick a bias and collect them, but I do have like most of their albums on the way. And then Purple Kiss, and then Blackpink. I found their album at Target, and I decided to finally buy it. 
Um, I'm not gonna collect them. I'm just gonna keep what I pull for what I buy of theirs. But I feel like I got a good selection. And then random big things. And that is it for my girl groups. On to the boy groups. Alright, so starting off with my ult boy, ult boy group, it's Vix. For all the Vix stands out there that is, are looking at my <laughs> decal and saying, wait, it's supposed to be all caps. I do know that, but it just looked prettier when I was making the decal for, you know, part of it to be lowercase. So, it's fine. <laughs> So I do collect all members <clears throat> for a lot of things, um, but for bigger items, especially like CD plates, I only collect my bias Ken, um, or my ult bias, I should say. I think, is that supposed to go there? Oh wow, I can't remember the order of their albums. I'm just going to move that to the front right now. <laughs> I do need his Rock Your Body uh, CD plate cover thing. Um, but I'm complete with, um, I think, most of his things other than that. Or all, actually. I think I'm done with all, but yes. A lot of these earlier sets I do have complete, except for this version of Chained Up. I miss them so much. I need them to have a comeback. Um... And yeah, so back here, there's a few missing, but I'm nearly complete. Um, boys record, boys record cards, I don't really feel the need to collect all of them, so I just have what I have. Then, bigger things, I'm collecting top four for the bookmarks and Shangri-La things. At this point, I might as well collect, like, all of them, but I don't know. I don't feel like trying to find them. I only need this one Hongbin card. And then Japanese cards, I only collect Ken again because Japanese cards for them are impossible to find. <laughs> then subunit and solo. This section is a mess. I do need to rearrange this. I'm probably going to rearrange by member um, instead of when Solo came out. Um, and I do want to collect pre-order benefits for Ken because, again, he's one of my ult biases, so. And then subunit things, I don't feel like collecting everything for, so. I'm just keeping what I have. Um, okay, non-album things. The Voodoo DVD posters. Not posters, postcards. Um, Hello Stranger, Polaroids, they look so small, I don't know why I kept the packaging in there. Uh, these are some Kino cards, some concert cards, Seasons Greetings, more concert, uh, I think this is concert Blu-ray. This was a concert Blu-ray, I know that, and these keep sliding around, but they're very pretty. And I actually have not watched this Blu-ray yet, and I've had it for, what, two years now? I don't know. I can't remember when that came out. Um, one day I will watch it. And then more Seasons Greetings things. I mention this every time I flip through my photo card collection, but this drawing just makes me laugh every time. Um, and then random other things. That's it for Vix. Alright, this binder is almost all of the rest of my ult boys except for XO. Um, because XO have so much stuff that they need their own binder. Um, so I rearranged my infinite cards. So... Dongu is in the front, um, because he's another one of my old biases. Um, I need to work on his things. These cards, I don't know if there is another <laughs> card it's supposed to be there. Um, or filler. Though I don't know if I'll ever get those cards though, they're so limited. And other Dongu, these are like concert cards. Um, 
postcards, another postcard, this giant, uh, mm, these are probably my favorite cards in my collection, this one's just so sweet, and then Destiny just made more sense to have all four of them together like this, so, uh, other than Dongwu, I do collect three other members, um, and I am actually, other than, you know, Infinite Only and Top Seed, I am pretty close to being caught up. There's just a handful of things. Then Idea Photo Book, Postcards. I have not been paying attention. I hope the glare hasn't been too bad. And then LP Cards. And B1A4, which is also, it's just a mess. Um, their cards are different sizes and orientations, and so I just kind of throw them where they fit, so they're all out of order. <laughs> but one day I'll come in here and rearrange them. But I'm getting close to being uh, done. I do need to get uh, the rest of their cards from their latest album, but it has not been on the forefront of my mind. <laughs> um, BAP, I collect Zello, even though Jungkook is an ult, also an ult bias, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to collect his photo cards that just, it's just going to be a lot of work. I still, like, I'm so close to finishing Zello's collection, I'm only missing two cards. So this one from Honeymoon or Blue? Yeah, that's the album name. I do have his solo stuff. And then this other Japanese card from, I can't remember what album. <laughs> and then back here I did take out a certain member, because I didn't want to see his face anymore. If you know, you know. Uh, but I do have them like in age order, but Zella's in the middle because he's my <laughs> when young cook our biases. Um, and this is kind of bias order, or like biases in an age. I don't know. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> and then B two B is an actual mess back here. Um, I'm going to take the CD plates out because at first I was like, oh, I'm going to collect my bias. But I honestly, it's hard to have a bias. My bias is Changsa, but like I love all of them so much. Um, side note, them on Kingdom warms my heart. Uh, I, there's a lot of things I hated about Kingdom, like the whole competition competition aspect, basically. But uh, them on Kingdom just uh, was so great. Them with Stray Kids and ATs, oh, so cute. But yeah, so I'm just gonna keep what I have. But I don't have these albums up here with me, so I'm just going to keep them in the binder for now. And then Cheng Sub, I am collecting, but I will be collecting some full group sets. I just need to decide which ones. I know that, um, what album is that? Complete. Yeah, Complete, I do want a full set of, possibly Thriller. Yeah, uh, it's a mess. So... And then, back when I was collecting Sungjae and thought Sungjae was my bias, I mean he is, you know, one of the seven of them. I, I love B2B so much. Um, and this is just a Minhyuk page because these are his postcards from the For You album that I can't remember the name of for some reason. So, yes, <laughs> that is my mess of an other old boys binder. Alright, so this binder is basically SM Boys, but not, not all the SM Boys I collect. If you've seen my photo card collections before, you'll know. This is XO and NCT and Super M. Uh, this binder is about to pop, um, so I guess XO will probably get their own binder, but I really like having them in NCT together, especially with Super M in the back. It just makes sense to me, but you know, <laughs> I don't, <clears throat> two inch binders are like the biggest I want to go because I just think three inch is way too big for 
like it makes me nervous about how heavy the binder gets so uh XO I collect top five if you know I wasn't collecting any other group I would collect the full group but it's just too much for me right now I do have some full sets though a lot of their earlier cards are really easy to find and really cheap um I think it's just because everyone and their mother <laughs> collects um EXO, but then we get into the era of overpricing every photo card ever, um, and so that's why some of these later eras are sparse. sparse. I think I have a trade for both of these Chanel cards, so. And then power, uh, I love power. I also don't collect every card for every version, um, especially in, you could see in the earlier eras, they're, like, the Korean and Chinese versions were just way too close to the, being the same, or Mama A, I just don't want to deal with, um, so, but, in these later albums, I do tend to want to collect everything, um, so... I wasn't originally going to collect Kinos for them, but I did, which one is the Kino? Whatever. Whatever one is the Kino, um, I did get it, and I did pull Sehuns, so. Chanyol is my third bias, though, so I don't know if I'll ever get his, but, um, whatever. I finished What a Life for both of them, yeah. I'm not too pressed about getting the Kinos. If I can, that'd be nice. And then I'm still working on 1 billion views, but that's okay. Um, and then I don't really care about getting all the postcards, so I'm just going to put what I pulled in here. Cannot see Sam. Um, oh, and yes, their comeback was today, the day I'm filming this, and it is so good. I did, in fact, cry when Yushin came on screen. I do think... If, I can't remember if I saw that he had cards or not, but if he happens to have like one or two cards in the album, I do want to get them. Um, I, knew, I need to put this in front of like a black paper, you can't really see it. For most of the solos, I haven't gotten, I think just Jong Days yet, but for the solos, I'm basically just going to keep what I pull except for Kai, who is another old bias of mine. Um, I want to collect all of his, and I am going to be making an order soon for like a lot of his solo cards, so. And then this is just other Kai things. Uh, this will grow as time goes on. Uh, like with Joy, I do want maybe not everything he's ever put out because EXO has a long, long backlog of lots and lots of things but you know what i can get my hands on i'm not really too fussed about completing his collection and then i want to get um Sehun's japanese stuff as well and these are just random sm goods because sm puts out so many things and usually they're very pretty and so i tend to want all of them um so I just find lots of things. That's kind of what I focus on is trying to find a lot that includes like either multiple members or multiple eras of photos and stuff and it's fairly easy to do with them because again a lot of people collect them so. And these are from the album but I, but I think they're cute so. <laughs> I really love Power Era. It's one of my favorite EXO eras. Like I just I'm very fond of Power Era, so and these are fan site things for both Kai and Sehun. Alright, and then uh, <laughs> NCT's back here. Um, so I do collect Taeyong, um, and I do have quite a few of his cards coming. Um, there's only a few. I think I'm still missing that one, but I do have the regular, irregular card coming. And then for resonance, eh, not as much, but new, new update. 
I'm collecting his Kino cards. I know. For those of you that collect NCT and know how badly his cards are priced, you're probably looking at me like I'm crazy right now. But I, with the reprints of their Kino albums, the prices have been significantly lower, and so a lot of his I do have on the way, um, including my Grail card. Um, so you'll see that in a sorting photo cards video, which honestly I might give my Grail Taeyong card its own page. But we'll get to that sorting video when it gets here. But yeah, there's only a few that I haven't been able to find yet, so. Um, or find for a good price, I should say. There's still some out there that are like multiple hundred dollars and I'm not going to pay that much, but um, yeah. So I am collecting Yuta as well. These are only my pulls, but I do have quite a few trades for him coming. Um, he's a lot easier to collect. And then I completely forgot that, um, what is it, Limitless exists, so their postcards will go some here, somewhere here once I decide to finally pick them up, but the postcards are not mm, a huge priority. And the circle cards, I do have this one coming, and I, if they continue to do them after this, I'm not going to collect them. I, I hate circle cards, I hate them so much, but yeah, so... This is a mess of a page, but this will be Lucas's, like, empathy cards, and then all of the wavy members that I'm collecting their takeoff cards, if I ever get them. They're, those are hard to find. I'm almost completely caught up with Xiaojun, except for their latest, wavy's latest album, and then Resonance Part 2, so... Except, and the postcards. <laughs> so for Resonance Part 2, I collect, or, you know, NCT 2020, I do collect 10 members. Uh, you probably saw, but Taeyong's are up with the rest of his things. Um, but yeah, the rest of them are back here. And I do have quite a few, quite a few trades coming, uh, because I just updated my trade and sales Instagram, which you can follow. It's in the description. Um, and I have so many trades coming for 2020, so this section will hopefully not look as sad. <laughs> so, yeah, quite a few of these, and then quite a few of these are coming. Or, no, not that one. This one. Uh, and then the postcards, eh. I did pull Yuta and Hendry, and I think I want to get Taeyong's just because it's Taeyong, I don't know, I'm, I love that, I love that boy, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know that I will ever kind of expand into non-album things, maybe if I can find, like, Cherry Bomb merch for cheap for Taeyong and Yuta, I will pick it up, but, you know, I'm not very pressed, um, so Super M, I am missing two of their uh, debut album cards, and then a lot of the IDs, but like honestly I'm not too fussed about completing them immediately, basically it's just I'll, I'll pick one up if I see it type of thing. Um, I wish they had only done one set of those and not three, but what can you do? Uh, and then I'm only missing two of their postcards, which these are the most beautiful postcards SM has ever done. Holy cow, they're so beautiful. This is SM or Super M and Marvel things, so the sticker set, and then the photo cards from their booklets. And that's it for that binder. That was a doozy of a binder. <laughs> okay, so this is other boy groups part one. Um, I have in fact gone into a second binder because this one obviously even though I've taken things out um, it's still <clears throat> getting a little large I it's 17's fault they're half of this binder um, shiny I'm like eh, just casually collecting them there's a few full sets I want um, I say this in every collection video there's a few full sets that I want um, but I'm not pressed about you know, collecting a lot of theirs. I haven't even gotten, I think, part three 
for these albums yet and then I haven't gotten their newest albums. Also I am doing kind of the same thing I'm doing with um, EXO. I'm just keeping one card per solo but uh, there's a few I'm missing obviously and I sold Jonghyun's She Is card for some reason so I do want to get that back um, or you know one card at some point. But yes, I need to get caught up on my shiny solos. Um, but advice, I will say, uh, one of my favorite songs of the year. So good. Uh, my Lowly 2PM collection. Yes, it has its own section, finally. Um, so they just announced their comeback, finally. And I am planning on collecting every Chen Sung thing I can. Um, I do know I want to try to collect all of his... Korean things and I might kind of try to get some Japanese things and other merch. Um, my friend Emily I know can help me out um, which by the way I will send or I'll put the link to her Twitter in the description. She is running a group order for their comeback album so just shameless plug of my friend's <laughs> group order. Um, but yes, hopefully I'll be able to get a lot of his cards through her group order, and I do want to try for pre-order cards too, but apparently they have a lot, so, um, there's only one other card for this album, and that's, like, it for their Korean things, I want to say, album-wise. New East is a collection I'm thinking I'm gonna drop, um, I don't know, I just don't feel motivation to complete this collection. I still listen to their music all the time, but it's just, I don't know, I don't feel motivated to collect this, or like continue this collection. Um, so, I don't know if I'm gonna end up selling things or just keeping them, you know, in the back of the binder. I'm not sure. Top Dog continuing, you know. Will I ever get these two cards? I don't know. I, I'm thinking no, but a girl can dream, I suppose. Um, but other than that, I'm pretty much complete for them. I miss them a lot. 17, the big chunk of my binder. Although, I did, I don't know if I, I don't think in my last update I had the giant chunk that I do now, but one of my friends was moving and she sold me a ton of my Bias Lines cards. Uh, which is 97 line, um, and I finally have 17 carat and these giant postcards. I do have the full group in here for right now, but once I get um, these threes, <laughs> other version, I will just have theirs in here, but I don't know. I think these are really cute. They look so small, so young. And then CD plates, I, for some reason I still have this in my sales binder, but you know, I finally started, <laughs> I finally decided to collect all of 97 lines, so I'm not fussed about getting everyone's CD plate for everything. So, here's my 17 collection. This page is absolutely complete, uh, including the unit cards which are on the back, and I could not be happier. Ugh, I, the set looks so cute together. And I do love the unit cards a lot. Um, this is, ooh, sorry about that. This is probably my favorite unit card from this album, period. Uh, Joshua is probably like, if I were to collect a top four, which no, I'm not gonna do that, but Joshua is probably the fourth member I would collect. Although I do love all of 17 a lot, so it's hard to pick a bias in that group, hence why uh, collecting top three. I do have a few things coming for them as well in trades. Um, this is a mess. <laughs> the ode, or an ode, excuse me. A mess, a mess, a mess. Um, I mean, I feel like all of us complain about how many cards there are. There were, didn't need to be this many cards, but whatever. I am collecting a full set of the beret and suspender set because it is absolutely just one of the best photo card sets period. It's so cute. 
so that's slow going but this is Hengai and then they have a new album coming out soon so that's another chunk I'm gonna have to collect but these are their bookmarks I love how the Hana bookmarks look together but I just think it makes more sense to have uh, one member on a page just so it can fill out the full page uh, and then semicolon I don't I'm not really fussed about getting the rest of their things their big things just because there's a lot of random stuff and I pulled a good assortment and this is their pre-order cards from I want to say K-Town for you um, I managed to get most of them and so I just bought the few that I was missing um, and you know I think it's an adorable set and these are some other um, home run pre-order cards I do want to try to get the ones I'm missing but this era just was so cute and so yeah and this is their 17 magazine photo cards these two cards do annoy the crap out of me because we almost had a full beautiful matching set um, same for this one uh, but yeah they're cute and then Japanese things hasn't been my priority I've been trying to work on Korean things but and then these are just HMV cards I'm I don't want to collect all of them but like they tend to come with bundles that I buy and so it's I just keep what I get and then a lonely jacket card and that's it for boy groups part one and finally my last two inch binder which is actually not full at all <laughs> is my next boy group binder um, I anticipate this filling up quickly especially because 17 will probably move into this one um, but you know <laughs> for now it's nice and empty so day six I only keep what I pull um, it's impossible for me to pick a bias in day six so I just you know keep what I get and I feel like I have a good assortment maybe I don't know I, I pull a lot of J for some reason <laughs> But I do, I am behind on their albums, so I need to pick up them once there's a lull in comebacks. Uh -huh. Stray Kids, I'm tentatively only collecting from this era onward, but I, I don't know. After, after Kingdom, my love for Stray Kids and Felix especially is very strong, so you know, that could change. Um, I do need the other postcard just to, you know, complete this page. Uh, new collection, only one of. I finally picked a bias. It is Junji. I have zero cards for him, but I do have quite a few of them on the way. Or quite a few, just a handful of them on the way. Um, with albums. So... And then these are just random boy groups. I do need to move, actually, let me take this out. Um, these are random boy groups that either don't want to get rid of or plan to collect at some point and hype in. I've been loving everything they put out, so I, I can foresee myself collecting them hardcore in the future. Uh, and then random other little bits and bobs. And the infinite postcards I keep forgetting to move out of this binder <laughs> uh, and that's it for that binder all right at long last that is the end of my photo card collection I know it's just getting bigger and bigger and I'm honestly having so much fun collecting um, you know I it kind of goes in waves for me sometimes it you know I don't collect for a while and sometimes like now I'm just trading and buying so much uh, but I enjoy it a lot um, I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions about what I use or who I collect etc etc just let me know in the comments and I'll answer as soon as I can um, and again apologies for the lighting <laughs> also the sound of my air conditioner I just realized it's been going the whole time so if it's la if it was loud I apologize um, I guess that's it I will leave links to my sale and trade Instagram as well as my friend Emily's group order 
thread for 2PM's new album in the description. Uh, please go join her group order. I'm really excited for this comeback. Oh, it's been so long um, and it looks like it's going to be amazing. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to a sorting video sometime within the next month because I do have quite a few things coming. Um, so finally, that's it. <laughs> have a great day. Bye.